Welcome to the film room. The goal of this channel is to help you see the game differently. And the gap theory gives you principles for why things work. Let's start with this clip. What do you see when you watch this? It would be easy to say, Kansas State moved the ball around really well and got an open shot. But what if you were able to see all of this? After playing Big 12 basketball myself and coaching at the college level for over 10 years, I have developed a theory that I believe explains why things work the way that they work. And almost everything in basketball can get broken down into these three things, creating mismatches, making two people guard one, and driving bad closeouts. None of these are more important than the other, and typically they support each other and create opportunities for the other to happen. None of this works, however, without spacing. And that is the key to everything working, is having good spacing, and that's the purpose of this video. In basketball today, the most common spacing that teams have is a four out one in offense, or 41. That just means that there are four offensive players around the perimeter, and one offensive player either in or near the paint. The black lines indicate the gaps in Kansas State's defense, created by the spacing of Kansas. The ball handler always has two gaps that they could potentially drive through, highlighted here in yellow. The reason that four out one in has become so popular in today's game is because one, more players have the ability to shoot the three, and two, it creates the maximum space for each gap, which leads back to why spacing is so important. You can see the two gaps the offensive player has to go through, highlighted in yellow. The game has moved away from the old traditional three out two in look, where there was a traditional power forward and center, and I believe that that was because now there are two defenders in the paint stopping you from getting layups. However, the gaps are much bigger as you can see here, but it makes it more difficult once you get to paint to get an open shot because of all of the help. The last spacing would be a five out or 50 series. This is where all five offensive players are outside the perimeter and there's nobody in the paint. This creates wide open opportunities once you get to the lane to score, but there are much smaller gaps to drive through. While the four out one in concept is probably being used the most, this five out concept creates a lot of advantages for the offense. It stretches the defense outside the paint, it takes away a traditional rim defender, and if you can get through that first layer or the gaps that you're trying to attack, there's a lot of opportunities for easy layups and kick out threes. The last gap that's available is the baseline gap. We've shown you that there are always gaps between defenders, but there's also a natural gap between the on-ball defender and the baseline that players can drive. And typically driving baseline opens up a lot of opportunities for layups and threes. This might seem really simple, and it is, but there is what I like to call a game within the game that creates a lot of nuance and high IQ to understand what's going on. This is the first clip that we looked at in four out one in. What I want you to notice is the corner offensive player Grady Dick is arguably the best three point shooter in the big 12. Because of that, K-State is always going to guard him like this, making sure he can never get an open shot. This is naturally going to create a bigger gap to drive through, which the ball handler recognized. So personnel is always impacting what these gaps look like. The other big factor in gaps is going to be a defense's principles. 
Iowa State has a philosophy of closing down gaps and giving ball handlers smaller gaps to drive through as you can see here. This corner defender is what's called up the line trying to discourage the ball handler from driving. This is very different than the clip we just saw. And to Iowa State's credit, the ball handler ends up settling for a tough three because there's nowhere to drive. This is the game within the game. The defense trying to close gaps, the offense trying to create gaps. So one way that the offense can create gaps is what's called a DHO or a dribble handoff. You can see that this dribble handoff creates confusion and a wide open driving lane. And then this works for Kansas State a couple possessions later as the dribble handoff happens. You can see 13 is late. There's a large gap for Cam Carter to drive through and he gets straight downhill like Iowa State just did and gets an easy layup. I believe that by continuing to look at the game this way, your IQ will grow. You'll start to recognize where gaps are at and you'll start to see how the offense is always trying to exploit these gaps and attack them. You'll be able to see which teams have good spacing and bad spacing. You'll be able to see how different offensive systems create opportunities to drive those gaps and you'll start to understand why people are scoring and why people can't. This clip is an example of one of our gap theory principles creating mismatches. You'll see on this ball screen that there's going to be a switch. As soon as that switch happens, there is now a mismatch and the point guard knows he should be able to drive this gap. You can see Iowa State trying to close this gap. You can see the point guard trying to drive this gap. Both teams understand that this is gonna be the focal point of the rest of this possession. A few minutes later, the same situation happens with the same two players. You'll see the switch happens again, and we're right back to where we were. Now you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, Iowa State's head coach notices this and is yelling at his team to close the gaps and make it impossible for him to get downhill like he did last time. Marquise is also playing the game of knowing that if he drives, he's probably gonna get smothered by defenders, and so he chooses to shoot a step back three, and he knocks it down. It's important to note that because teams are running plays, there's not always going to be that standard four out one in perfect spacing throughout a possession, especially not while teams are running plays, but gaps are always there. You'll see as this ball gets thrown into the post that one of our gap theory principles make two guard one happen right here on this post fire, and that leads to extended gaps and a wide open three for Kansas State. As these last two clips roll, see if you can start recognizing gaps that you didn't see before. The whole purpose of this philosophy is knowing why offense works when it does, so that you can one, enjoy the game more, but two, if you're a player or a coach, you can develop your IQ to become more successful at this game. Hopefully you understand spacing a little better. Please make sure you check out those other three videos on creating mismatches, making two guard one, and driving bad closeouts. It's gonna improve your overall understanding of the game. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.